Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I'm Hashim Ali Khan. Last video, I have completed five problems on game theory. And those five problems are the basic problems of pure strategy. Every problem we have seen, saddle point exists. When the saddle point will exist, when maximum is equal to minimax. Whenever saddle point exists, it's a pure strategy game. Every player will have a specific strategy to be adopted. Only one strategy to be adopted, right? So now in this video, two more problems I'm going to explain with the new concept, dominance property. If in the problem it is specifically asking you to apply dominance principle, then only you have to apply. Otherwise, it is optional. You will get the answer. For example, if pure strategy problem is there, by applying dominance principle, we'll get the solution. Whereas if it's a mixed strategy problem, by applying dominance property, the matrix form will get reduced. The sum of the rows and some of the columns can be eliminated by applying this dominance property. So what do you mean by dominance property? Already I have explained you in the theory video. So if you have not watched, I suggest you go to the playlist of my channel. Select the subject operation research. Select the vid videos of game theory. Be perfect about the concept of dominance property. Then you can be able to understand. But before starting the sixth problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Take the screenshot of the points, then I'll explain all the points in detail. Now, see the problem number six. Following is the payoff matrix for player A and B. So player A is in rows and player B is in columns. So rows, we have one, two, three, four. Four strategies are available for player A. And one, two, three, four, five. Five strategies are available for player B. So we will give the names A1, A2, A3, A4. Whereas B1, B2, B3, B4, B5. Using dominance property, specifically it is given in the problem that you have to apply the dominance property. What will happen when we apply dominance property? The form of the matrix will get reduced. Some of the rows and some of the columns will be eliminated. And obtain the optimum strategy for both the players and determine the value of the game. So the new point in this problem is, it is asking you to apply dominance property and find out the optimum solution for both the players. That is a new point, right? So how to apply dominance from property, I'm going to explain. The four strategies available for player A are A1, A2, A3, A4. Now five strategies available for player B, B1, B2, B3, B4, B5. Now all the elements which are given in the problem, I have written in the matrix. Now, according to dominance property, if any strategy is not acceptable, then that strategy should be eliminated. For example, A player, the rows, the player in rows is a maximizing player and the player in the columns is a minimizing player. So always we have to make the assumption, keep this in mind. The column player is a minimizing player and the row player is a maximizing player. Maximizing player will keep the maximum strategy and minimizing player will keep the minimum strategy. That point you have to remember. Always note it down immediately. So row player is a maximizing player, column player is a minimizing player. The maximum maximizing player will keep the maximum strategy and the column player minimizing player will keep the minimum strategy, right? The maximum strategy will be eliminated. Now see here, now we have to compare. Step dominance principle. All the elements of column B4, now you compare. B is a minimizing player. He will keep the minimum and eliminate the maximum. 2, 4, 4 is greater, 
फाइव सिक्स सिक्स इज ग्रेटर सिक्स सेवन सेवन इज ग्रेटर फोर टू टू इज लेस तो फर्स्ट थ्री एलिमेंट्स आर ग्रेटर वेर एज दिस एलिमेंट इज लेस सो नो डोमिनेंस प्रॉपर्टी राइट ही विल कीप द मिनिमम एंड एलिमिनेट द मैक्सिमम ऑल द एलिमेंट शुड बी ग्रेटर ग्रेटर नाउ वी कंपेयर बी वन विथ बी थ्री बी वन विथ बी थ्री टू थ्री थ्री इज मोर फाइव थ्री थ्री इज लेस सो नो डोमिनेंस बिटवीन बी वन बी टू एंड बी बी वन बी थ्री नाउ वी कंपेयर बी फोर टू एट एट इज मोर देन फाइव सेवन सेवन इज मोर सिक्स एट एट इज मोर फोर फोर बोथ आर इक्वल बोथ आर इक्वल दैट मीन्स ऑल द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ बी फोर आर ग्रेटर देन एंड इक्वल टू ग्रेटर देन एंड इक्वल टू द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ बी वन सो वी कैन से बी वन इज डोमिनेटिंग बी टू बी फोर बी वन इज डोमिनेटिंग बी फोर बी वन इज नॉट डोमिनेटिंग बी टू बिकॉज दीज थ्री एलिमेंट्स आर मोर वेर एज दिस एलिमेंट इज लेस सिमिलरली बी वन इज नॉट डोमिनेटिंग बी थ्री बिकॉज टू थ्री थ्री इज मोर फाइव थ्री थ्री इज लेस नो नो डोमिनेशन बिटवीन बी वन एंड बी टू एंड बी वन एंड बी थ्री देर इज डोमिनेशन बिटवीन बी वन एंड बी फोर टू एट एट इज मोर फाइव सेवन सेवन इज मोर सिक्स एट एट इज मोर फोर फोर इक्वल सो वी हैव रिटर्न ऑल द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ कॉलम बी फोर आर ग्रेटर देन और इक्वल टू द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ बी वन सो बी वन डॉमिनेट्स बी फोर सो वी एलिमिनेट बी फोर नाउ वी दैट मीन्स मिनिमाइजिंग प्लेयर विल नेवर अडॉप्ट बी फोर नेवर अडॉप्ट बी फोर बिकॉज ऑल द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ बी फोर आर ग्रेटर और इक्वल टू द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ बी वन तो बी वन इज डॉमिनेटिंग बी फोर हेल्प वे एलिमिनेट बी फोर नाउ एलिमिनेटिंग बी फोर मीन्स only b1 b2 b3 b5 so b1 b2 b3 b5 b4 gone now row same a1 a2 a3 a4 if a1 a2 a3 a4 now we got the matrix now all the elements of column b5 now we compare the elements with uh, b1 and b2 2 4 4 is more 5 6 6 is more 6 7 7 is more 4 2 no dominance then 2 3 Three is more. Five, three, three is less. No dominance. Now fifth, two, four, four is greater. Five, eight, eight is greater. Six, seven, seven is greater. Four, three, three is less. No domination. So B one is not dominating B two, B three, B five. Now we compare B two to B three. Four, three, three is less. Uh, if we compare B three with B two, three, four, four is more. Three, six, six is more. Nine, seven. No domination between B two and B three. Now we compare B two and B five. Four, four, same. Six, eight, eight is more. Seven, seven, more. Uh, seven, seven equal. Two, three, three is more. That means B two is dominating B five. B two dominates B five because all the elements of B five are greater than or equal to the elements of B two. The elements of B two, four, four, same. Six, eight, eight is more. Seven, seven, equal. Two, three, three is more. So B two dominates B five. So all the elements of column B five are greater than or equal to the elements of B two, right? So B two dominates B five. Hence we eliminate B five. Now this B five will also go away. So remaining B one, B two, B three. B one, B two, B three. The rows are same. A one, A two, A three, A four. Right? Now, similarly, we can eliminate the rows also. In rows, we have maximizing player. So he will keep the maximum row and eliminate the minimum. Eliminate the minimum row in all respects. Now we can see here. The elements of row A three are greater than all the elements of A one, A two. And A4. Now, if we compare A3, the elements of A3 are six, seven, nine. Now, compare A3 with A2. Six, five, five is less. Six, seven, seven is uh, seven, six. Sorry, six is less. Nine, three, three are less. 
तो ऑल द एलिमेंट ऑफ ए टू आर लेस देन ए थ्री सिमिलरली कंपेयर सिक्स टू टू इज लेस सेवन फोर फोर इज लेस नाइन थ्री थ्री इज लेस दैट मीन्स ए थ्री इज डोमिनेटिंग ए टू एंड ए वन इट इज नॉट नेसेसरी दैट ओनली वन रो ओनली कैन बी डोमिनेटेड इन अ सिंगल स्टेप वी कैन एलिमिनेट मोर देन वन रोज ऑल्सो लाइक दिस द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ ए थ्री आर ग्रेटर देन द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ ए टू एंड ए वन सो ए थ्री इज डोमिनेटिंग ए वन एंड ए टू सिमिलरली ए फोर सिक्स फोर फोर इज लेस सेवन टू टू इज लेस नाइन एट एट इज लेस दैट मीन्स ऑल द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ ए फोर आर लेस देन ए थ्री दैट मीन्स ए थ्री इज डोमिनेटिंग ए वन ए टू एंड ए फोर ऑल द थ्री रोज एलिमिनेटेड ना ओनली वन रो विल बी लेफ्ट that is a3 remember in rows we have maximizing player he will keep the maximum row and eliminate the minimum row whereas in columns we have a minimizing player he will keep the minimum and eliminate the maximum that rule is the dominance principle right now elements of row a3 are greater than all the elements of a1 a2 and a4 hence a3 dominates a1 a2 a4 so we eliminate a1 a2 a4 so a1 a2 a4 gone only one row is left a3 the elements of a3 are 6 7 9 6 row minimum in this row what is the minimum 6 only one element is the 6 maximum in columns we will take maximum values what is the maximum only one value is there 6 7 9 what is the minimum among these maximums 6 so 6 is the minimax so minimax 6 maximum 6 when both maximum and minimax are equal saddle point exist it's a pure strategy game it's a pure strategy game the solution of the game is for a player only one strategy is there a3 so a3 is the optimum strategy for a player for b player this six comes under which column b1 so b1 is the optimum strategy for player b so here the optimum strategy for player a is a3 and the optimum strategy for player b is b1 and the value of the game is 6 so what you have seen in this problem and earlier problems we have applied dominance property right so minimum maximizing player is in rows minimizing player is in column maximizing player will keep maximum row and eliminate the minimum whereas minimizing player columns he will keep the minimum and eliminate the maximum that is the principle is called dominance property now one more problem on this dominance then the concept will be clear seventh problem solve the following game by applying the principle of dominance specifically given we have to apply the dominance principle so here three rows are given and four columns are given name of the player not given so we assume two players are there row is a player column is b player the strategy for row a1 a2 a3 and the strategy for column b1 b2 b3 b4 that's it so here let the game is played by two players a and b the strategies for player a a1 a2 a3 strategies for player b b1 b2 b3 b4 these are the elements given in the problem now we have to eliminate first of all common columns in columns we have minimizing player he will keep the minimum column and eliminate the maximum right so first of all we compare b1 b2 8 10 10 is greater 10 11 11 is greater 13 12 12 is less that means these two values are more whereas this value is less so no dominance between b1 and b2 now we compare b1 with b3 8 9 9 is more 10 8 8 is less no dominance between b1 and b3 now we compare b1 with b4 8 14 14 is more 10 12 12 is more 13 13 same 
that means all the elements of the column B4 are greater than or equal to the values of B1. So B1 dominates B4. B4 will be eliminated. Minimizing player. In columns, we will have minimizing player. He will keep the minimum and eliminate the maximum. Higher values will be eliminated. So the elements of column B4 are greater than or equal to the elements of column B1. So B1 dominates B4. Hence, we eliminate B4. This B4 gone. Now remaining A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3. Same elements are taken. Right? Now we have to compare the rows. We can compare the columns also. Or we can compare. We have to eliminate. Either you have to eliminate the rows or you have to eliminate the columns. Right? Now if we see the row. In row we will have minimizing player. Sorry. In row we have maximizing player. He will keep the maximum row elements and eliminate the minimum. So we compare. 13 is the highest. And uh, compare. 13, A3. 13, 10, 10 is less. 12, 11, 11 is less. 14, 8, 8 is less. That means the elements of A2 are less than the elements of A3. So A3 dominates A2. A2 will get eliminated. One more comparison will make A3 with A1. 13, 8, 8 is less. 12, 10, 10 is less. Then 14, 9, 9 is less. That means A3 is dominating A1 and also A2. All the elements of A1 and A2 are less than the elements of A3. So A3 dominate A1 and A2, A1 and A2 will be eliminated. Only one row is left, A3. So here, step 2. All the elements of row A1 and A2 are less than the elements of row A3. So hence, A3 dominates A1 and A2. We eliminate A1 and A2. So only one row is left, A3. And the columns are B1, B2, B3. That's it. Now we calculate row minimum, column maximum. In this only one row, the minimum is 12. And the column maximum is 13, 12, 14. So maximum is 12. What is the minimum among these maximums? 12. 12 is the minimax. So again, we have maximum, maximum is equal to minimax. Both are 12. So saddle point exists. It's a pure strategy game. So the optimum strategy for player A is A3. And the optimum strategy for player B is B2. Right? And the value of the game is 12. That's it. So in this video, only two problems I have explained. That is 6th and 7th. And both the problems are based on principle of dominance. So if you practice this problem, then only you can be able to get the command. So don't watch the video only once, two, three times. If you watch the video, if you, main, if you maintain the notes, then only you can be able to get the command. So, so far, seven problems have completed. All the seven problems are pure strategy problem where saddle point exists. But in the next video, when we start the eighth problem, the problem will be on mixed strategy. So mixed strategy problem is that problem where the player will not adopt a single strategy. He will use a mixture of strategy with different proportions. That I'll explain in the next video, inshallah. So if you're satisfied, give a like to the video, share my channel, give your comment, subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. And by the super thanks which is given below my video, inshallah, we'll continue the next problem in the next video.